one of the most common failure points on the Crown Victoria is this little, call it armrest lip here. And I, like many of you, have often wondered, how does it reattach? Because when you have this in the car, it always seems like this should just kind of click back in here. But now that I have this off the car and mine's coming off, you can see there's no lip or anything. It just literally is glued in here. And so obviously 10, 15 or more years down the road, sitting in the sun, whatever, that glue comes undone and it starts peeling off. So what I'm gonna do is put some construction adhesive in here, clamp this down really well and let it dry. If you need to know how to remove this piece to get to where I'm at, I have plenty of videos that show it. I'll try to remember to put a link to one, but it's not real difficult. There's two screws on the bottom, one in here. Later models also have one here, plus the door handle has a, I believe it's a T27 or possibly T30 bolt that holds it in. And then this just lifts straight up and then out. You don't have to peel it back. But while I have it, this is a rare find. None of these four little plastic clips are broken. This is the piece that fits into here. Most of the Vicks I've seen, once you remove that bolt from there, this just falls. But this one, it was snug and secure. And you see the little retainers are all intact. And so what it looks like, the best method for removing is to get a plastic tool kind of in this direction here and just kind of squeeze these down and it'll come out in that fashion. I uh, just wanted to show that because I've never had one of these or they were all intact and obviously this is the first time I've ever pulled this specific panel off of the car. The other thing to show you since this one is also intact is that little plastic clip there in the back that holds this in. So at least half, probably a lot higher percentage, this clip here is broken off because when it's in the car somebody tried to pry from here, snapped it off. I don't know why Ford designed it that way as opposed to just being able to snap straight in. But in Ford's case, you've got to pry from the front and then remove it in this fashion. And obviously, these at least are all easy to disconnect. But yeah, that's what the little plastic clip is supposed to look like on your vehicle. And like I said, many of you probably don't have it. And so when this is in the car, the back end will do this. And what I suggest to fix that normally is to get some Kydex and like a plastic welder, or you can use like a JB weld or other epoxy or something, and attach basically a piece to that end that just can fit under there to hold that down. All right, I'm using this Loctite construction adhesive, probably any kind of epoxy construction adhesive, even something like E6000 or B7000 would probably work. say it takes a couple hours to dry for me it'll probably end up being like that overnight just to be on the safe side <laughs> 